Here's an update on the um, 6x6 rabbit enclosure. This um, dwarf peach tree. Well, well. Hmm, she needs a bit of Epsom salt. A tiny bit yellow in places, but it'll be picked back up. She is a bit dry down the bottom there, so. Yeah, we got the uh, nectarine tree absolutely booming. Have a look at that. It's powering over the top now of the enclosure. Going real, real strong. And um, the uh, apricot tree. Oh, she's uh, got arms on her left, right and centre. That's because I tied a few down, sort of like grapes, and let a few more grow. And that big long one you can see here is the original. This one here, this one here is the original. So, yeah, come pruning, I don't know which one's going to take, I might just leave them all on. There is a new addition there, you remember last time we did um, the spring onions. So, what I've done is, we have transplanted them after harvesting them, regrown them again, as you can see, in the rabbit enclosure. Rabbits don't disturb them, so, that's a, that's a good thing. So, yeah, over here, we have that old Jostaberry tree, and I tell you what, is she booming? Have a look at this, new growth, everywhere, branches everywhere, oh, she's taken off, so, we'll have some berries next year, black currant, and there it is there, going very strong, now, this chestnut tree, well, it's hard enough getting a chestnut tree going, but <clears throat> she's still about oh, three quarters alive, and yeah, I think I can pick it back up, I've still got the other one in the pot, so yeah, there's a bit of an update on the uh, chestnut tree, they are extremely hard to get going, and yeah, so um, I hope you liked the video. And there you go. There's a just a berry. And I uh, hope you click like and subscribe. And see you next time.